I'm going to show you something that will blow your mind. The sum of all natural number is equal to minus 1 by 12. Yes, you've heard it right. How is this possible? And what does that mean? Let's find out. But before we dive into the proof, let me ask you a simple question. What is the sum of all natural numbers? You might think that the answer is infinity because there is no end to the natural number and you would be right in a sense. But there is another way to look at this question using a technique called analytic continuation. Analytic continuation is a method to expand the domain of a function beyond its original definition. For example, the factorial function denoted by n factorial is defined as the product of all positive integer up to n. So, for example, t factorial is equal to g times 2 times 1 equal to 6. But what if we want to find the value of factorial function for no integer like half? Well, one way to do it is to use analytic continuation, which basically means finding a formula that works for all values of n, not just positive integers. And it turns out there is a formula called the gamma function that expands the factorial function to the all complex numbers using the gamma function we can find half factorial which is equal to square root pi by 2 so back to the original question what is the sum of all natural number can we use analytic continuation to expand the sum function to the known integer and find out the value of infinite sum the answer is yes and the technique we used is called zeta regularization zeta regularization is based on special function called riemann zeta function the zeta functions take a complex number s as its input and returns another complex number as its output. For example, which is another beautiful result that relates pi to the sum of squares. Now here is the key point. The zeta function is well defined for any complex number s except for s equal to 1. When s equal to minus 1, the zeta function becomes the sum of all natural number. Using analytic continuation, we can find a formula that works for all values of s except for s equal to 1 and use that formula to assign a value to the zeta function at s equal to minus 1. This value is called regularized value. The formula is don't worry if you don't understand what that means. The important thing is that this formula gives us a way to calculate zeta function for any values of s except for s equal to 1. Now here comes the magic. What happens if we plug s equal to minus 1 into the formula? Well, we get this, which simplifies to zeta function at s equal to minus 1 is minus 1 by 12. So this means that the regularized value of sum of all natural numbers is minus 1 by 12. Mind blown, right? But wait, there is more. This result is not just a mathematical curiosity. It actually has application in physics, especially in quantum theory. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.